Five is the first one. Number five. Find the derivative. F of t equals 6t squared minus 5t minus 3. There's the derivative, ready in one step. What's the answer to the first one? 6 times 12, 6 times 2, 12, subtract 1 from the power. 2 minus 1, 1. There's a 1 here, 5 times 1. 5t to what power? 0. We'll clean it in a minute there. Minus the derivative any constant, which is what? 0. So that would be 12t minus t to the 0 is 1. 5 times 1 is 5. So 12t minus 5. Again, the rule we use, the derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. The derivative of any constant is always a 0. So these are the rules I'm going to be using. That was 5. Let's look at 7. y equals pi over 9 cosine of theta minus sine of theta. And what is the derivative? y is a prime. Here's the pi over 9. That's a constant. What is the derivative cosine theta? Yep, the derivative. You want to memorize these if you didn't by now. Cosine of x, cosine of theta is negative sine of x. And the derivative of sine of x is what? Cosine of x. You really want to hurry up and memorize these because I'm going to be adding a lot more to them. So you don't want to be hit at the end with like 20 of these trig identities. It gets confusing. But if you do two at a time, it's a lot easier. So derivative cosine is negative sine. Minus, what's the derivative sign? Cosine. So when you clean that, this is negative pi over 9. Positive times the negative is a negative. Sine of theta minus cosine theta. Number nine. What is the derivative at one? Well, let's find the derivative at x. We do not have a rule yet when the power is two coming up later. I can do one when the power is 2 or 20 or 50 or 200, but not now. So right now, that's the only one I have. So what I need to do is foil this one out. And if I foil that one out, you're going to have 1 minus 2x plus x squared. You're multiplying 1 minus x times 1 minus x, and you collect like terms. Multiplied by the 3, you have 3 minus 6x plus 3x squared. So I multiplied this one out first. Now take the derivative as a function of x. What is the derivative 3? 0. Zero minus, what's the derivative 6x? 6 plus 3 times 2 will make it what? 6, and you subtract 1 from the power, 6x. 
So the derivative as a function of x, I like to put them in descending power. And what's the derivative at 1? They don't care about x. They want it at 1. 6 times 1 minus 6, which is what? 0. Number 10. F of theta. Instead of x, they're using theta here. 9 sine theta minus theta. And a 0, 0. And the question, I'll leave a space here. What is f prime at 0? I left a space because I want to find f prime at x first. I mean, f prime of theta. I'm not using x, I'm using theta. Here is 9. What's the derivative sine? Cosine minus. Think of theta as x. What's the derivative x? 1. Derivative theta is 1. Now, what is the derivative when theta is 0? That's going to be 9 times cosine of 0 minus the 1. Cosine of 0, if they have a unit circle, that's a 1. 9 times a 1, 9 minus the 1, which is 8. Okay, we have g sub t equals negative 2 cosine t plus 4, the point pi comma 6. Find the slope. Find the slope of the graph of the function at the given point. Use the derivative. Well, we know the slope is what? The derivative. What is g sub prime of t? Negative 2. What's the derivative cosine? Negative sine of t. Plus, what's the derivative of 4? 0. That's 2 sine of t. What is the derivative at pi? 2 sine pi. Sine of pi is what? 0, 2 times 0, which is 0. Maybe I'll go on the next page for the... Uh, you know what? It's not even worth it. I'll fit it here. Yep. 14. We did not even discuss the derivative fraction yet. We'll talk about it today. But I can still do this without it. Because when you write this, you can rewrite that as x cubed over x squared minus 5x squared over x squared plus 3 over x squared. And if you clean that, that's x minus 5 plus 3x to what power? Negative 2. So what is the derivative of that? What's the derivative of x? 1 
minus what's the derivative of 5? 0 plus, let's find the derivative of this, 3 times a negative 2, which is what? Negative 3x to what power? Negative 6. Negative 6. Oh, yep. My mind is somewhere else. You're just going too fast today. Negative 6x to what power? Negative 3. Negative 3. Got to subtract 1 from the power. So when you clean it, 1 minus 6 over x cubed. Now, if you really want to find the LCD, this is x cubed over x cubed. So you can write that x cubed minus 6 over x cubed. And took it? They didn't take it. They, they wanted that way? Yep. Because they look at this, you got to find the LCD, which is x cubed. x cubed over x cubed. Now you combine them into one. But you can't just take the derivative of this over the derivative of that. It doesn't work. These will take pages and pages with the other method. Thank goodness we don't have to go through them with the other method. That one's good. Dun, 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 dun. Somebody has some cookies today, so again, sugar. Oh no. I was gonna say you'd be okay. You no. That's a pretty long, pretty long drive. Ten miles each way. Okay. Again, the square root of x means what? X to what power? One half. That's what the square root of x means. So now can we find the derivative? Take the power which is one half x subtract 1 from the power what is 1 half minus 1 negative 1 half there's the minus there's the 7 what's the derivative e to the x e to the x again they probably want you to clean it this is 1 over x to the 1 half And if you want to rewrite that, that's the square root of x. Minus 7e to the x. Couldn't tell you which way they want it. This one? This one? This one? That one? First one too? Yep. This or this. Yep. Oh. Okay, this is kind of different question number seventeen. You given y equals four over x squared. The question is determine the point at which the graph of the function, a lot of writing, I don't want to write it there, but I'll write it has a horizontal tangent line has a horizontal tangent line horizontal tangent line if you look at that I'll make a capital letter of each one that implies what that means your derivative is equal to zero why? Because what is the slope of a 
tangent line, horizontal line? Zero. So that's really what they're telling you. Can you tell me where the derivative is zero? That's what the question is. Well, when you look at that, you can write this for x to what power? Negative two? So what's the derivative of that? Four times a negative two, which is negative eight, x to what power? Negative three, or you can write that negative eight over x cubed. Take that, set it equal to zero, and solve it for x. Can you tell me when this fraction gonna be zero? When x is zero is undefined. When you have a fraction for the fraction to, uh -oh, don't worry, that's been doing this the whole day. Don't worry, you have to go, that's the fourth time. Yep. That's the fourth time since. No, they'll stop in two minutes. You'll see that. Yep. So there's no solution. It says write none. Nineteen. It's gonna shut up. Ignore them, don't worry. Mm-hmm. 